know that there is an invisible ceiling that is preventing you from going from just like wholesaling a little bit to being an absolute superstar in this business. I am gonna give you an exercise that's gonna show you exactly what to do to destroy that invisible ceiling. So get a pen, get a paper, get whatever it is that you wanna write on, and let's get going. Boom. everybody it is brent daniels here and now that you've got something to write with a piece of paper i want you to write down one two three four okay this is critical because this is going to get into the real into your mind a little bit and really get the real facts about what's going on with your business and your financial life so on number one what I want you to do, and don't lie to yourself on this, you are the only one that's gonna know this, you're the only one that's gonna see this, but on number one, I want you to write down the amount, the, the, your cost of living, the exact amount that it costs you to live. I want your mortgage or rent in there, I want your car payment, I want insurance, I want your phone bill, I want your cable bill, Netflix, gym membership, everything that it costs you to live every single month. Maybe it's 4,000, maybe it's 2,000, maybe it's 10,000. Whatever it is, I, you need to be really, really, really clear on what that number is. So that's number one. Number two, I want you to write down every, all, every outside income that you make outside of the wholesaling business. Okay, whether that be from your job, whether that be from like alimony, or whether that be from child support, whether that be from social security, whether that be from rentals, whatever the extra income that you're making outside of the wholesaling business, I want you to write that down, okay? Get it perfect. So now we've got the cost, uh, your cost of living, the amount of outside income that you get, and number three, I want you to subtract those and get to that number. Okay, that is a very interesting number because if those are even or if you're positive there with the amount of money that you're making at your current job or the amount of money that you're, worried that you're getting from outside sources, maybe it's your spouse. Maybe your spouse makes a ton of money and covers all your costs of, of living. This is the interesting part, okay, because when you get to 95% of people, I'm serious about this, 95% of people stay in that level. They just want their bills paid. They just want to be able to support themselves. So what they do in this wholesaling business is they get into it and they say, okay, I wanna replace my current income, okay? So, so that I can do this full time and then I'm gonna blast off. And then what happens is they start getting into it, they start doing some deals, or they start getting some frustrations and some roadblocks, and all of a sudden their, their commitment starts getting chipped away in this business. The commitment to wholesaling chipped away. They start making calls and they start making appointments and they don't get the deal locked up and they get frustrated, but they've got that backup plan. Number two on that piece of paper is that backup plan, that outside income that you have coming in, you are relying on as your safety net. Okay, and I get it, and it's important, and I don't want you to get rid of that safety net. I want you to change your mindset and think about where you want your top line to be, your cost of living to be. Or if you wanna keep that cost of living as low as it is now, how much additional money do you need to buy the assets for long-term long wealth building? That is so critical because I'm seeing people over and over and over again start and they start with so much passion and so much like love for this business and commitment and they courage and they're going for it and then they have setbacks and they slide back into their jobs. They slide back into whatever is paying that number two line, that line that says, this is the money that I make outside of the wholesaling business. This is a mental thing. You need to change your mentality. Okay, number four on the list. So first we have what your cost of living, second outside income, third is what the difference is between that, and fourth is what is your average assignment fee or what is your average deal size earn you? Okay, because that's gonna tell you how many deals that you're gonna be stuck in. If, if, you're, if you're making $5,000 in assignment or 10,000 or 15,000, how many of those do you need to cover your cost of living? Most people stop there. That's why most people have that ceiling. They hit that ceiling of what their cost of living is and they don't push further. I am challenging you now to push further than your cost of living expenses. 
It is so difficult. Number one way to do it is you've got to write down your 90 day goals. You have to have 90 day goals. They have to make sense. They have to be realistic. If you, if you want some uh, advice on that, go watch our video um, a week ago on, on setting up your 90 days in this business, but you got to write down your goals. Okay. You have got to, got to, got to not be satisfied with just paying your bills. You've got to push it harder than you've ever pushed before. You're in the position you're at now because you keep, you keep going to that ceiling and stopping, right? Or maybe you bump up that ceiling, your cost of living a little bit more by buying cars or buying bigger houses or whatever it is. You know, you, you keep pushing up to that ceiling. You need to get to that ceiling and blast through it so that you can get a ton of money in reserves to buy assets. That's the whole point of wealth building is to buy assets that are going to pay you back either through appreciation or through buying down the debt on it or through cash flow. This is so critical, but guys, people are stopping at their ceiling all the time. They're stopping at what does it cost me to live? You know, they replace their job with another job, which is wholesaling. That's not a business. You've got to be inspired. You've got to be committed. You've got to have the courage, the competence, and the confidence to, to build this business up, your wholesaling and your real, real estate business up to a massive level to where you are netting 20,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 above what your cost of living is. But that ceiling, that cost of living ceiling is always present. It's always there. It's always in the back of your mind. If I can just get this done, I'm going to be good. Don't be like that. I know that the audience on this YouTube channel is phenomenal. The comments have been phenomenal. You guys have been like absolutely bananas with like taking action and really like implementing the things that you're learning on this channel. And I love it. So I'm speaking to you seriously now. Push through it. Once you start making that money, push higher, push higher, think bigger. There, there is an analogy that when you are, think of, think of yourself as a potted plant, like something like this plant behind me, like a potted plant. You can only grow as big as that pot is. You need to pull yourself out and repot yourself all the time. And that's with thinking bigger. That's with not being satisfied with hitting that ceiling, that invisible ceiling of just living for, of just working for your cost of living. It is pushing through that. It is, it is, it is surrounding yourself in the car. You should just be listening to podcasts and audible and putting all the good stuff in. When you're at home, you should be reading at least 10 pages a day. If not an hour a day, put the good stuff in. You should be surrounded by people doing way more business than you put that into your life and it explodes. That's what destroys that invisible ceiling. Once you're around people doing way more than you, then you start, you start, that ceiling starts opening up and you're able to really, really commit to just taking this business and running because wholesaling is winning the lottery. It is a cash machine. If you say, if you are serious about it and you don't do what the average wholesaler does, which is just replace their income or just subsidize their income a little bit push through it, make this a business, make this about you, make this your wealth generating machine, baby. Once you, once you do that, the, everything's going to open up. Opportunities are going to be open up. The only way to do that is you've got to talk to people all the time. This business boils down to one thing. It is having quality conversations with distressed property owners. Do that every single day and you win. It is flawless. It is a hundred percent. It's undefeated. So do that every single day, baby. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this. We're going to just bring so much. We're, we're, we're trying to bring so much value to the community. You guys have been amazing at responding and like taking action. That's the most important thing. If you, if, if you're just in this to just kind of get, just look at it and view it and just kind of put it into your head and feel good about it, it does nothing. You got to take action on all this. So do this exercise, really do this exercise. See what your cost of living is. See what your outside uh, amount, uh, the amount that you get paid outside of your, uh, of the wholesaling businesses. See what that number is, the difference, and then see what your average deal size is and put together the plan to be able to explode this business and move past just living your life as it is now. I encourage you all to talk to people. I love you all until next time. See ya.